The Spiltech 240-litre chemical spill kit typically comprises a wheelie bin, a spark-proof spade and broom, two large bags of chemical scatter, chemical absorbent pads, a 2-meter absorbent boom, heavy-duty disposable bags with ties, personal protective equipment, PVC gloves, goggles and dust mask. Depending on the product that has been spilled and the industry concerned, there may be alternative products required. Spiltech will assist you to customize your spill kit to suit your industry. Some substances such as alcohol and other chemicals may be highly flammable and can be set off by the smallest spark. Did you know that the static from your cell phone can ignite the fumes? This is one of the reasons our spill kits contain non-friction spades and brooms. It is important that you follow the steps to correctly use your kit. In the event of a spill of any hazardous type of substance, remember that your safety comes first. In every instance, you should be wearing basic safety clothing, which includes an overall, safety boots and a helmet. In addition, you need a mask, safety glasses or goggles, and gloves, which must be put on in the following order. 1. Remove your helmet. It is important to put on the mask first before you apply other items which may get in the way. Hold both straps together, slip them back onto the back of your head and then pull the mask forward onto your face to cover your nose. 2. Put on your safety glasses or goggles. 3. Put on your gloves and replace your helmet. If you are dealing with a chemical that gives off strong fumes, you may need to use a respirator. Take note of the direction in which the spill is flowing to establish the correct position for the boom. Spread the boom out in a semicircle to contain the spill. The boom works like a dam wall. Walk along the top of the boom and press down to close any gaps at the base so that no liquid seeps out underneath the boom. It is very important to contain the spill as fast as possible before any hazardous liquid runs into drains, causeways or open ground Depending on what the cause of the leak is, you may be able to stop it. For example, if it is as simple as a hole in the side of a container, see if you can plug the hole with absorbent pads and then when feasible, turn the container over so the damaged area or hole is facing upwards and the liquid pressure is no longer an issue. Apply a layer of scatter over the spill to effectively cover it. The scatter will change color as it absorbs the liquid spill. If there is liquid remaining, add additional scatter to the area and tap it down with the spade to help absorption. Sweep up the waste residue using the spark-proof broom. Make sure to sweep away from yourself at all times as the waste residue is still hazardous and you must take care not to sweep any onto yourself. The waste residue must be disposed of in the bag supplied in your kit. And these must then be placed in your hazardous waste skips or bins. It is recommended that you apply Spiltech special water-based oil sip Bio 2 biodegradable degreaser to the area. Pour on the degreaser and work on the area with the broom. The degreaser loosens and lifts the chemicals or oil residue and the area can then be washed or hosed down. If the spill is small, you can use the chemical absorbent pads to absorb the liquid. dealing with sulfuric acid or nitric acid, first add an acid neutralizer to neutralize the pH level. Then add the solidifier. Adding a solidifier to spilt liquid transforms it into a solid or semi-solid mass, which makes it easier to contain and clean up. Always make sure that your spill tech bin is restocked so that you can deal with spills whenever they happen.